Good morning, everyone. It is Easter Sunday, so happy Easter to everyone. I thought I would show you how I make my ham in the crock pot. This is such a good way to do a ham or whatever when you're doing a holiday because I'm going to have some rice in the... I'm making some cheddar broccoli rice. I'm making some macaroni and cheese and some mashed potatoes and some um, carrot souffle. So I'm going to need my stove for all of that. So this is a really good way when you have something that you know is going to take a while and it will take up a lot of oven space to use your crock pot. And this recipe is so easy. I almost didn't even want to do it because it's so easy, but it's so good. I wanted to do it. So I get a spiral sliced honey ham from, this one's from the Fresh Market. You can get it from anywhere. I'm going to go ahead and unpackage it and stick it in my crock pot and it's very noisy. You guys have probably all opened a ham, but if you have it, I mean, they just come like this, and it's, as I said, very noisy, so I will be right back. I just wanted you to see what it looked like. Ooh. Well, if I can turn the thing off. Okay, so I have this big boy in here. He's almost too big to do in the crock pot, honestly. But this one's already spiral cut, so I don't need to do anything else with it, which is lovely. I could, um, if I needed to, if I didn't have a spiral cut ham, I would cut slits in it, going diagonally both ways. And if you like cloves, add some cloves to it. We're not a big clove fan, so I'm not going to add any cloves to it. And some of the juices did fall out from the packaging into the crock pot. That's fine. I'm leaving those in there. And then I'm taking... Cherry Pepsi. <laughs> I know this is strange, but trust me on it. And I'm pouring it all over my ham. And this is one of those 20, no, 16 ounce things. And then I'm going to do another one until it's about halfway full in the crock pot, which is about there. So then you have a tasty treat <laughs> to finish drinking while you're cooking. And the lid may not fit on here, and that's okay. I'm going to push it down as much as I can. I'm going to lock my crock pot in place as much as I can. Oh, I think I can get it. It's like luggage. Oh, got it. Ah, oh, I did it. So it's okay if it doesn't fit all the way down. You want it to, and I like that this has a locking thing, especially for these bigger ones, because I can get a good, you know, firm closing. I don't know what to call that, but, you know, to let the crock pot do its thing. But if you couldn't get it all the way on, I would still do it in here, maybe just cook it a little bit longer. And I'm going to cook it on low for eight hours. eight low and that is it and I will let you see it when it's done it is amazing I wish I could let you taste it because you will like it okay thanks <laughs> happy Easter bok bok okay so here is the ham fully cooked and ready you can see how much juice came out because it's almost full to the top now what I'm going to do is take this out of here and put it into this pan to cut it up. So it just kind of fell off the bone. I'm going to carve it up a little bit. 